Hey, Mark Warnke here. All right, you guys, it is time for banding. Now, traditionally, I'm doing it, you know, quite late. These guys are in that seven, eight month mark. Um, they've all bred does. Um, what I do is I breed my bucklings. I let them breed all my does. I make sure everybody's pregnant. Once I know everybody's pregnant, then then I band everybody with the California bander. Um, you can get these on packoats.com. As a goat club member, you get them at 10% off. Um, like you do everything else. And um, you know, it's, uh, it's the tool I prefer. Um, there's people online that'll argue vehemently that the best way is surgical castration. They'll argue vehemently that Verdizo is the best one and that banding is the best one. Everybody kind of seems to have ones that this is the only way. I've done all three and they all three have positives and negatives, but in, for every aspect, if I include the whole picture, the ability to do it yourself without a vet, the ability to not have an open wound, um, how much pain the goat goes through, how quickly it is, the frequency of problems that show up, this is my choice. Uh, I like the California Bander um, and it works really well for me. So we're gonna go ahead and load one up and for the goat club members, I'm gonna do all of them. You're gonna get to see me handle different goats by myself. Um, for the YouTube channel, uh, don't forget if you wanna be a goat club member and see all our exclusive content, you can do that. Um, we're gonna show you how we're gonna do one here today uh, and then uh, all the rest of it is gonna be on the goat club membership. So I hope you find this helpful um, and I encourage you to be a member because you get 10% off everything on the site and you get the courses for half price and you get um, all the exclusive content. Hi, Oliver. Hi, you, buddy. Stinky. Come on. Good boy. So I wanted to show you because I haven't yet. Do you see this little place right here? That's where the band goes into. So you go in and then you pull it into this little catch right there. So that's where it's actually arriving at inside of the band. So just so you know, I wanted to show you that. So Oliver's our last little guy. Go ahead and grab him. And get those pulled down to the bottom. See how I grab and get all I can out of it. It's under full tension now. And there we go, perfect. See how that sits right in that little groove? And now it's right, perfect. Get that off. Make sure the teats aren't in there, which they're not. This is nice and tight, which it is. Good boy, good boy. Hi, Oliver. I don't know who did that to you. Somebody was messing with you. I was just helping and feeding you food and then somebody started messing with the jewels. I don't know who that was, it wasn't me. Come here, bud. Good boy. Good boy, come on. All right, so in terms of paying attention to how these goats are acting now, and, and again, I've heard cases, I've heard cases of goats, you know, like making noise for part of a day or kind of moaning and groaning, but I've never seen it. I've never seen my goats, no. I've never seen my goats react negatively in, in any type of long-term way. I've seen this com commonly lay down, kind of going, no, 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 no. Going, hey, what's going on? But, you know, I've never seen any big long-term negative repercussions. This is the only guy that isn't banded. Everybody else is kind of just walking around and you can tell they're slightly uncomfortable and stuff. Nobody's perfect, but uh, nobody's like bellering in pain or pain for hours or any of that stuff. And, you know, we can film it later here too. And I just think it's a super humane way to castrate a goat. It works, it works good. I hope you find that helpful. Mark Warnke signing out.